Hello there, this is Jamie the D. Hi guys, I'm Zerberoth. And this is Wipeout 3, first track, Portacora, with the Goteki 45. Now, um... Go! You've played have... Wipeout 3 a fair bit, haven't you? Yep, I used to play a whole lot of it a couple of years ago. More than a What's your actually. opinion of the Goteki? Well, at first I thought it was like the protagonist craft of the series. <laughs> because I didn't know shit. <coughs> but I don't dislike it much. I feel like it's kind of like the Pfizer in that it's pretty average without excelling at anything in particular. Yeah, in fact, um, there is one thing it excels at. Shield strength. Yeah, and the team excels at being a dick, but... Yeah, exactly. Um, Shield was one of those things I didn't really look at when I was playing, because, you know, yeah, hadn't looked at it that much. Um, Goteki 45 were formed in 2095 by the artificial island nation of Makana. And, uh, basically their law is that they are massive dicks who are widely rumored to be in the race just to fuck the races up. Yeah, they, that's pretty much what I think. Yeah. By Seems accurate the with what I've read on the wiki. By the time of Wipeout Fusion, uh, the entire island nation has been carpet bombed by unknown parties. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and it's deeply implied that one of the corporations did it, but they never revealed who. <laughs> Now, all the craft designs, and indeed this first track, along with one other which many people hate but I love, were designed by Andy Whiteley, who I linked earlier in the thread with those brilliant AGS videos. Oh, go get a bounce. Yeah. Oh, he's the guy the, with the tumbler? Yeah. Which hasn't updated in like oh, a couple no, of no, years. Oh, no, 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 not that guy. No, it's a different guy. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, he did. Uh, he designed the AGS for this game, and his design is the one that, well, made it all the way through, really. Yeah, the AGS is pretty beautiful in this game. Mm. I like how uh, we, the crafts yeah. might have similar like looks. Like you know, the Goteki and the Oricom are dual fuselage designs. Yeah, but they are not the same. Oh god, no. No, the, each one is unique looking. Um, as for Portacora itself, <coughs> it's a pretty strong track in terms of beginner tracks, because we've got this very deceptive mini chicane there. Uh, mm, it can gonna... be a pain in higher difficulties as you're playing. Yeah, and this is Rapier, by it the way. It is one of the two tracks I have uh, gotten first place in Rapier. I get first place, but also, um, you may have noticed <coughs> Missing I rocketed that Goteki. It oh, yeah. seems in this video different. all my specific violence is against my teammates. <laughs> that's, that's Goteki. <laughs> that's, well, we should be fucking up the other teams, but no. <laughs> I keep rocketing the Goteki. <laughs> there we go, AGS. Yeah, and one of the my favorite weapons. Oh yes, I loved it. I love this weapon wall. as soon as I learned how to use it. Um, a lot I of also mistake the like reflector it. sometimes. Uh, the deflector's alright, but it's useless against mines. Uh, the force wall, however, is the best troll weapon in the entire series. Oh yeah, sub sun have a wall. Um, and it's only in this game. Okay, now I'm realizing why I'm having so much trouble with rapier. It's because I'm trying to do stuff in order, and uh, in order means starting with the Pfizer. Ahahaha, uh, no. It... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've gotten the first place in uh, this one and the next one, but, you know. The the Pfizer is possibly the worst craft in this game. Yeah, I like it, but it's just not good where it should be good. Yeah. And Especially there we go. for we... higher... Oh, perfect love. Yeah, perfect love. good. Uh, I could theoretically have gotten, well, no, I could have gotten perfect laps all the way through, but eh. <laughs> yeah, that's 
too much effort for too little point. Yeah, pretty much. In Four time, perfect laps doesn't get you anything. Um, it does get yeah. you a uh, five second better time, though. Mm, not always. No, it did. Like, your non perfect times were. Yeah, see, this oh, lap yeah, was so not perfect, were. and you were. A couple of seconds couple, slower. Yeah, almost three oh, well. seconds there we slower. Go. Um, now, one other feature of Wipeout 3 that I like is the replay. I have never used the replay. <laughs> the replay cameras are fixed, but they sometimes get cool moments. I'm going to be leaving the replays in for each race, because occasionally it'll show us stuff that I never noticed. Like the fact the Goteki was attacking me back. Or go take it, that's what they do. Yeah. Um. And also my shameful plasma shot. Oh, yeah. In my test run, I got two people with the plasma. But, you know, test runs. Yeah. Marathon exactly. luck, as they say. Yeah. But yeah, look at those designs. They're amazing. Like, that's what sold the game for me. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's very low poly so that they can fit, uh, I think it's a total of 16 tracks, counting the classics. Oh, no, 22 tracks. Ah. Uh, so wait, because there's 8? 8? And yeah, eight there's another... 8 another. classic, and then the 6 prototypes. Mm. I think also, in the Japanese version there was one more. Uh, no. I Thing. Something I remember something about one version having more of something, but uh, the Japanese version had what the special edition has, but the normal edition didn't. Ah, all right. So us, those of us who have the special edition, are good though. Yeah, yeah. Though, well, I'm not going to be doing any races on prototype, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're playing on the special. Yeah, okay. I'm playing on the special edition. I thought it seemed familiar. I have, have no idea what actual Wipeout 3 looks like. I've only played the special version. Uh, Wipeout 3 looks pretty much the same, graphically. Oh, but it just has more shit in it. Cool. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the cloak, by the way, is nearly useless. Yeah, but, you know... It might stops well people getting a missile lock on you, but it does nothing about rockets, mines, and plasma. Uh, by the way, the AI doesn't seem to use force walls. I have never seen an AI used. Yeah. Although, but they're great for trolling, because they yeah, stop everyone in their I have also never seen the AI use a quake. No, they're not allowed. Good. So, this has been Portacora, and we'll see you next time. Have fun, guys.